and it is a dry mm, rosé. It is. We're uh, most rosés in not America. Not very sugar. No, not much sugar. To very it. low residual sugar. Right. Most rosés, when you think of them um, and uh, and you see them, are sweet, and that's what you normally right. think of when you think of a rosé. This is more in style of a European rosé, which are very dry and have the fruit characteristics mm -hmm. and um, meant to be kind of, you know, sipped on a summer afternoon and in some places even over ice, believe it or not. <laughs> in Europe, we don't do that. Really? I don't Here, do that. But, I've never done that. <laughs> but um, it <clears throat> makes a wonderful aperitif with something like a, a light cheese, like a sheep's, oh, yes. a sheep's milk cheese um, with um, dried fruit. pears. Yes. Yes. Um, also, it's wonderful with uh, Thai food, takeout Chinese, or something like that. Eat it from like the that. box. Eat it from yes, the box. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So this is a very popular wine, particularly in the summer here in Temecula, when you have these warm days and stuff. Right. You sit out on your patios, and you just have a, a really have good a wonderful time. afternoon. <laughs> yes, yes, a wonderful afternoon. What about this black dog over here? Is that like a combination? You said it was a combination yeah, of different grapes. It is. We um, they're all estate grapes, mm -hmm. and it's um, it's a blend of our uh, Cabernet, Syrah, and Merlot. Very cool. So Syrah is a Rhone uh, wine, and Merlot and uh, Cabernet are Bordeaux wines. So it's sort of a Bordeaux blend with a little bit of Rhone thrown in That's <laughs> on fun. the side. Fun. And red wine. it's a wonderful red wine. It's um, it's actually our most popular wine. I mean, people love Black Dog, and it's um, um, it's it's a little bit lighter. It's really? um, very um, smooth tannins. Great with food. I love that because I particularly don't like when I drink wine and I just get that residual sort of a taste yeah. to it. Yeah. Um, it could be to overpower what I'm eating right, or right. the actual flavor of the wine. Well, this is what our wines, um, we make our wines sort of in the style of an old world style, mm -hmm. which um, means that they're great for pairing with food. They're made to be complimentary, complimentary to food. Right. Perfect. Shall exactly. we try it? You bet. I'm excited about this one. Red is actually my favorite wine. I love red wine. And... Uh, Syrah is actually my favorite. Oh, good. So um, I'll probably really enjoy this one. Well, this one has, uh, you'll find sort of some initial aromas of um, maybe some lavender and spice and um, kind of rich berry flavors. Yes. Maybe like a, yeah, like a cherry. And then really soft tannins. So it's a little it's, peppery. Yeah, maybe a little mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. spice. Just a little peppery. Yeah. Mm. I know why it's their favorite. Pretty good, huh? Yes. <laughs> I know why it's their favorite. This is, oh my gosh, this is really good. Yes, it's a really good wine. Mm. It is a very drinkable, uh, lovely wine. Yes. And it's, um, it's one of the reds, because of the kind of uh, a little bit lighter, smoother tannins, it's um, great with uh, salmon or tuna um, or lighter meats like uh, veal. Um, and um, it's, it's, it's a good wine. It's really, really good wine. Quick question. Um, I've always wanted to know, when do you know to, to pick the, the grapes? When is the right time? Does it depend on like the temperature or like the sugar content or what you want to do with the wine? How does yeah. that work? Well, it's, um, it does have to do with the sugar content. Um, and it's kind of a fun thing that I do. In, I start doing in August um, as I'll go out and I'll pick bunches of grapes and juice them up in a baggie mm -hmm. and you actually pour some of the juice on a, a little instrument called a refractometer which you hold up you put some juice on it and you hold it up to the light really? and it shows you the percentage sugar really? or what is called bricks b-r-i-x bricks so uh, we pick at somewhere around a 23 or 24 bricks mm -hmm. which means it's 23 24 percent sugar and for us that that's right kind of where we want our wines the um, the higher the bricks, the more alcohol right. you will have. You're, gonna have. you're so going to have at the end. Let's say if you want to get a, make a wine that is sort of not too much alcohol in it, you will choose to have less sugar content. Yeah, you might pick it a little bit earlier, like at 22 mm -hmm. or okay, 21, something like that, and um, uh, and then the big. You know, a big reds that yes. you have. Um, uh, you might wait and you pick those at 25 or 26 or beyond, and, cool. and get a really high sugar content. Um, so that's that's how you tell. You did tell me you're uh, getting ready to bottle one of your brand new wines. That's right, and it's going to come out. It's going to come soon. out pretty soon. We're very excited because of the microclimate in Deleuze. Um, we found that Pinot Noir 
really has done very well for us up there. So we're very excited um, that we're bottling our first Pinot Noir, uh, even as we speak, and we're going to be releasing it um, to the public probably uh, at you know, around the June time frame, May June time frame. Very so cool. we're excited about it. It's, it's really good in the barrel. Well, you have to come back around that <laughs> I time, will. and, and we have to Pino. sample it. We have to, you That's know, right. sample that wine. Shall we try the Syrah now? Sure. Now, Syrah is my favorite wine. <laughs> Our Syrah is a little different than most hot weather Syrahs mm -hmm. um, because it is a little cooler. And as I said, it takes a little longer, right. you know, slower f to mature and that sort of thing. Um, uh, what happens is, is it, um, it, it has a little bit lower alcohol content, a little more acidity, a little more oh, fruit structure in our Syrah than you would get in like a Syrah in some, from Paso Robles, for example, where it's very, very hot. Or hot. Yes. It all depends on the weather, then. It, it depends very much on your soil and your weather, and then, you know, your, your techniques of uh, uh, vine dressing. But, but the soil and the weather are really key. <laughs> <laughs> we, I think you have the good soil and the good weather we around your area. For certain so. grapes, we think so. We think so. So you want to try this? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Love me some Syrah. And what would you pair this with? Um, I would pair this because it has a little bit more of an earth um, earth characteristics to it versus high berry pepper characteristics. Um, I would pair this with maybe herb encrusted lamb, or um, uh, of course, Syrah always goes well with barbecues and and stuff like that. But um, probably less of the fruit kind of barbecues were real, real sweet barbecues, right. but more with an herbal kind of rubs and that kind of thing. Yes. It tastes yeah. divine. Very floral, sort of like a lavender mm -hmm. kind of Yeah, you do. You get that aroma lavender. To it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. I love it, Marlene. Cheers. Cheers to the Syrah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank <laughs> and let you. me ask you, if anyone would like to perhaps get in contact with you guys or mm -hmm. purchase some of this wine, how can they do that? Well, we're, um, we're very fortunate to be part of something called the Wine Collective. And the Wine Collective is a collection of a, a small number. There's about five of us now. Boutique wineries. Um, and that means that we all make less than a thousand cases a year, so very small wineries. And that is in Old Town Temecula? It's in Old Town Temecula. We also have a website. Okay. And what is it? And you can buy online at www.woodworthwine.com. Very cool. Well, uh, I will definitely, you know, check that out. Good. Especially for this black dog that I absolutely <laughs> love. And, Terrific. Uh, thank you very much, Marlene, for coming in. I mean, absolutely enjoyed having you here. We've had a good time. Yes, we did have a good time. Cheers once again. Once again. Once again. And for you folks at home, we'll be right back right after the break.